you have this, uh, this the Austrian knot clipped into here. Once you do that, you take a figure eight on a bite, clip a carabiner into that, and pull the rope right here. Now this three-way system makes it very easy to pull a person out of the crevasse. As we will see right, right here, I'm going to start pulling him out. Of the rope, and that's going to yank out the uh, ice screw. And I preserved all my gear. Yeah. Obviously, after I've, you want to follow the angle where the where the top of the uh, ice screw is, so you're not turning that thing earlier than you need to. And as you can see, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is the key the key point right there is this carabiner. It's very important that you uh, place this carabiner so when you get to the bottom, you know which side to sling uh, to pull. Get myself so off the way here because I got myself anchored in here. Here, and as you can see, here's the extremely important part of why you need that carabiner. So right now I know that this is the end I gotta pull. That this is the end I gotta pull. I can let go of this end, not worry about that. Hold on to this end. I know for a fact this is, gonna, this is the end I'm gonna pull. And so I can take this carabiner off now. Flip it into me. And then what you wanna do is, you don't wanna start pulling when you're right under it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my ice axe out and I'm gonna move over a little bit. Move over about a meter to the left. So, get myself in a nice position. Anchoring myself again. It's a solid anchor. And now I'm ready to pull it. Flip it. Okay. Casa Cooper. My name is AJ. We're going to go review uh, some of the knots that we've been right, on opposite ends, one in the back, one in the forward. And instead of putting it, uh, instead of sliding, uh, putting it together. You slide them like that, and then you got the clove hitch. The clove hitch is a knot you can use to tie in. As you can see, it doesn't. So you can use that knot to clip into an anchor, and you're and you're stable. You're not going anywhere. And again, the quick way to tie it tie it into an anchor is once you're clipped in, take the back end and slide it through, just like so. One minute to. Bed. And there you go. You get the clove hitch. So you're not going no. anywhere. These are two extremely important knots to use uh, when tying into an anchor. Okay, my name is AJ again. I'm just kind of reviewing the course. On the, it's been this is the 12th day we've, I've been out here. Tomorrow I head back to La Paz. And on the first day of the course, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I, uh, I'm fairly a beginner as far as mountain climbing goes, so I did didn't know what exactly it would be entailed and. I know a little bit about the area uh, from the climbing guide, but I wasn't sure as to how I, how I would do and what I'd be learning out here. And uh, today, on the last day, I've learned more than I could have imagined. I've learned a lot of new techniques that I hadn't learned on previous courses. When I had taken a, a, a mountain course in Alaska about three years ago, I learned a lot of new information as far as a crevasse rescue, easy easy ways to tie knots such as the uh, the butterfly knot, the uh, the clove hitch, the monter hitch, simpler methods to tie such knots. As well as I've gained a lot of confidence in the, in the mountains from climbing uh, solo climbing up Pequeño Alpamayo and doing a crazy route with Eduardo and uh, on Illusion that was a lot of fun too and uh, we also did a uh, Pyramid Blanca and we've done some other uh, small acclimatization hikes around here and uh, and practice some skills out on the glacier so I've learned a lot more than I could have imagined I feel a lot more ready to tackle uh, more technical routes in the future I'm looking forward to that the next time I come to Bolivia hopefully I'm going to do Ilimani and uh, now we have uh, the route tied in. We have a, a ring and we have both ends tied in and now you're going to divide it up into two. So you have now two ears and the central knot. Place it on the ground. Now step into the two ears. Use it as a seat. Now you can apply 
another person in order to carry the one who has been injured. Yes. Here we go. Now you can carry your body down the mountain. Now we have a, another system.